Good morning, guys. Welcome to my first Vlogmas video. I know it's December 4th, but it's fine. Better late than ever. Um, I'm totally in the Starbucks drive through right now, which I feel like I'm just notorious for starting vlogs or talking on my Instagram stories in the Starbucks drive through but what can I say? I am actually on my way to a hair appointment right now, which is why my hair is up in this crazy little pineapple bun right now, because last night I spontaneously texted my friend Shelby, the girl that cuts my hair, and I was like, so, um, I think I want to take a few more inches off. If you guys know who Bree Shepard is, she's a blogger. I follow her on Instagram. She has, like, this super cute, just, like, blunt bob, um, and then, like, I sent her a couple other pictures from Pinterest that have just really been on my mind recently the more I think about cutting off more hair the more I'm like excited and just really want to do it so that's what I'm doing today yeah the Starbucks line is really long so I figured I might as well just start my vlog now I didn't tell Alex that I'm doing this so later when I see him I'm going to vlog his reaction yeah I think he's gonna be shocked I told him I was doing something today that I had a surprise for him but I didn't tell him what it is final look it's like right at my shoulder I'm so excited I've been talking about this for how long now so long. yeah for so long I was telling Shelby that I was gonna chop my hair so I finally did it and I'm so excited okay guys so I have to drop my car off at the dealership because there's a recall on it which is you know super exciting and I was just talking to Alex and he didn't realize my hair so I want to see how long it takes him to know this he's picking me up so I can drop my car off. Uber for Aaron do you notice anything? About what? Hair. My <laughs> hair. Yeah, That's I got my haircut. Yeah. When did you do this? <laughs> this morning. Is this my surprise? Yeah, this was your surprise. Oh. You're not very surprised. <laughs> no, I got like three It's this rubble. Here, put my drink in there. This is the behind the scenes. Guys, it's so cold out right now. It's just drinking <sighs> That tastes like peppermint, so it's wintry. Okay, let's go get my car checked in. You have to come with me. Ooh. So we just dropped my car off at the dealership and we're gonna get some lunch now. I can't get over my hair, it's so weird. Do you like it for real or are you just saying that to make me happy? No, I think it looks cute. Thanks. Yeah. It's gonna be really weird when I go to wash it for the first time. Maybe like three or four weeks ago, I got like four inches taken off. I'll put a picture of the before from that on the screen. And then, um, I don't know, I was just thinking about it more and more. So I finally just went back and got a little bit more taken off. So thank you to Shelby. You always do an awesome job. If you guys are in the Pittsburgh area, her salon is called Lightning Hair Lounge. She's super cute. And I just like being able to support like her small business and everything. So yeah, we're gonna go get some food now because I wanna get cranky if I don't eat soon. Okay, so this is <laughs> not flattering at all. It's kind of fall. No, it's not. You know it's kind no, of it's fall. Not. Trust me, I'm a pro at balancing cameras on dashboards. I went to move my hair over my shoulder and there was no hair to move. Yikes. So we have like an hour until my car is done being serviced. So we got some Moe's. Um, if you guys don't have that near you, it's just like Mexican. It's kind of like Chipotle, but better. I don't know. It's better. A lot of people are on the fence with that. I got a kid's quesadilla. It went on my Instagram story, and I told you guys to ask us questions so we can do a little mini Q&A. Since Alex hasn't really been on my YouTube channel a whole lot, going on nine months, I was a cupola. A who? A couple. A oh. Okay, so the first question that has been asked is how did we meet? And my grandma's calling. Hello, would you like to tell the story? 
No, I told her last time. You can yeah, we talked about this in the first video that we filmed together. But I'll tell it again. Are you gonna tell the story? I don't wanna talk with my mouth full, it's rude. So Alex and I had a class together the spring semester before I went to LA. So it was like almost two years ago. We had a business class together. So we knew of each other, but we never like really talked or anything until the very last class, Alex came up to me and he asked me, what did you ask me? And he just tried talking to me. Yeah. And I was like, bye, I'm going to LA for three months. But like, you weren't even trying to flirt with me or anything, were you? No, nah, just talking with you. Yeah, like just literally like talking, nothing romantic, <laughs> but either way. It was just like, bye, I'm leaving. I am not interested in anyone here in Pittsburgh right now. Yeah. So then I came back and I didn't take classes in the fall. And then in the spring, very last minute, I decided to take classes again. And it was like the week before a class was started, I enrolled for the spring semester. It was that like very, like very last minute. <laughs> so we didn't have a class together again, but the one day in, was it March? Like early, really early March. Was it that early in March? Yeah, I was leaving class one day and it was the day that I was filming. I had stuff to do, like I was being super productive. So I was leaving class and I notice this boy with his car parked, like our cars were parked like this, getting into his car at the same time as me. And we kept looking at each other and I recognized him because we had that class together. And then he started talking to me and he was like, oh, you're Aaron, right? And I was like, yeah. What's your name? <laughs> so we just like kind of had like a very small conversation in the parking lot and he asked me if I wanted to go get food with him on the spot. And I was like, um, I have plans like, and then I have night class tonight. And he was like, well, what about after night class? And I was like, um, okay. Oh, I said, how about after your night class? I'll pick you up and I'll take you out for dinner. And he did. Yeah. So I let him take me out to dinner. And that's the only time that a boy has ever approached me like that or like flirted with me or like asked me for my number or anything and here we are nine months later this is a question that i get asked a lot in various different ways it kind of has to do with both of us but like i think it like affects me more than it affects you but yeah. everyone's always asking how like grief affects our relationship and how ryan affects our relationship and how just like it makes things different for both of us and if it still affects our relationship, just like all of those kinds of questions. So the one that someone just asked now specifically was just like how grief affects us um, and if you like help me with it. So I don't know, do you think it's better if I answer this question? Um, yeah. And then or do you have anything that you wanna say? It's just part of who Aaron is and you know, it helps to just be understanding of it and recognizing it and um, you know, I any... told, in case you guys didn't watch our first video together, I told Alex on our very first date what happened. So from the very beginning, it was something that he knew about and like was okay with. I mean, obviously he's okay with it because we yeah. wouldn't be here right now, but sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay, it's just, um, I think it's part of who Aaron is and, and what she's been through and then, you know, going through and. That's another thing that I want to talk about is like, people ask if it still affects me or like, how I'm so okay with just moving on and loving someone else. And let me tell you guys, it has not been easy. Yeah. Um, I'm still extremely emotional, even though I'm better at not necessarily showing it on social media as much as I used to. Cause I think I, when it was all very new, I was just very, very open about like everything, which is fine. And I know that I helped a lot of people by putting myself out there in that way. But now it's just, um, like more of a personal grieving process, I think, rather than being super open about it. <laughs> yeah, I think with uh, with whatever anybody's going through in any relationship, whichever side it is, it's I think um, always important to just be there for the person, and yeah, communication's key, and you know, just being understanding of you know people's backgrounds, what they've been through, and what they're going through, and and uh, it helps both sides, and mm -hmm. you know, because everybody has their their thing, and and uh, what makes them who they are and just how it is sometimes and mm -hmm. you gotta learn to in the relationship just kind of be okay with it and understand that's part of what makes you know a couple a couple and mm -hmm. and go from there to this day we still have nights where i'm crying or yeah. venting to him about stuff or getting really worked up and even if it's not to him just like me by myself i just think that for the rest of my life whether i'm with alex or not like whatever happens it's just always gonna be something that affects me and is always 
something that I'm not necessarily dealing with, but just going through and learning from and adapting with. I think adapting with is a better way of phrasing it than dealing with. Yeah, life doesn't give you anything you can't handle, and uh, I think that's important advice to kind of maybe take and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, use it and kind of apply it to different situations and things that go on in your life and, you know, understand that there's ups and downs and that, mm -hmm. um, I mean, Alex has gone through his own things in life. Nobody's perfect, ever. And any girl that he could have dated would have had baggage, and any boy that I could have dated could have had baggage. Like, we're all human, and like, that's just my story, and I happen to go through something horrible that normally doesn't affect people until much later in life. I just had to deal with that kind of loss at a much younger age, but it's, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, we're it's rambling okay. a lot about just such a simple question, but that's kind of why I was like, before I- don't I... think there's a right answer to the question. I think that's yeah. why we're able to, to talk about it mm -hmm. and be open about it and, you know, share with you guys our thoughts and kind of how we approach stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many different aspects to this topic. So yeah. that's why when people ask me about grief, sometimes I just don't answer the questions because Sometimes I don't have an answer, or the answer that I have is so long, or I can talk about it for so long. So I think we should wrap that one up and see if there are any other questions that we can All right, cool. talk about now. Okay, someone asked, what does each of you like the most about the other person? What I like most about you, I think Erin has a ability to be independent. She's smart, she's able to have a good time, laugh, she's easy to joke with. Um, one there's, thing. there's lots of things. <laughs> I, I can't just pick one, because I mean, you know, you're not with somebody just for one reason, you know, it has to be, you know, at least in my book, lots of reasons, and I think... That's very true. You know, that makes it hard cool. to uh, make it to one thing, but, you know, I listed a couple so far, and there's many more, but I don't think I can fit it all in one video. Mm -hmm. so. You know what my favorite thing about you is? What's that? You're tall. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, yes, I really like that, but... Non-physically speaking, I like that you're not afraid to be emotional. And I know yeah. you're gonna hate me for exposing <laughs> you like that here on the internet. I just like that I can be that way with you and you're not like weirded out by it and you're that way back to me. Yeah. Like, Not like scared to be who I am about it. Mm -hmm. Someone asked for a college update. Yeah? I get asked about college all the time. Hang on, let me stuff my face so that I don't have to answer this question. Tell them about your college update. All right, well, so my college update, I'm finishing up. Oh my gosh, I up. forgot I had this in your car. Oh, I have the headband too. And my Lululemon headband. Guys, look at my cat nap face sleeping mask. Lincoln twin. This is gonna really ruin my mascara. All right, so right now I'm finishing up uh, class Anatomy and Physiology 2. And in the spring I'm gonna take a physics course and apply for my program, which is uh, Radiology Tech. And then after I'm finished with that program, I'm planning on going for one extra year to do MRI. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be good. And volunteered at hospitals before, and I like the setting. I like helping kids. And I've uh, I've been through three open heart surgeries, and um, so you know I'm not a stranger to hospitals and that setting and tests and uh, getting to know people from different uh, like departments of a hospital and the different jobs they do and the the service that they provide to me and. I think um, being I think it'd able be so to, cool if you could work in a children's hospital. Yeah, that would be. I think that would be like the ultimate goal awesome, for, yeah. for you. I would, I would love a job like that. I, I really you, do okay. like helping people out a lot, and I think um, that stuff does interest me. And um, I think it'd be kind of my way to, you know, maybe not um, exactly, but kind of give back to all the um, people that's helped me out along the way and, and done all that stuff for me in the past. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I Are think you it's your turn then. For what? Your college update. You're not getting out of this one. <laughs> so college. <clears throat> that funny thing that I'm not in right now. It's okay. Um, not everybody is. To be honest with you guys, I really don't know what I want to do. And as you can tell from me sporadically taking like month long, two month long random breaks from social media, I'm not really good at juggling multiple things. So right now I'm working full time as a manager at Kate Spade, which is awesome. And eventually down the line, I'd want to have my own clothing store, whether it's online um, or 
a physical boutique that I own. I think that'd be super cool. So yeah, and it, like it gets me so excited to think about that. So obviously having management experience for not just any clothing company, but a huge brand in the fashion industry, like Kate Spade, it's incredible to have an opportunity to work for them. So um, I'm just working right now, I'm not in school. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to school. I have enough credits for an associate's degree, which I'm glad I at least have that. If I were to go back to school, it might be to actually study real estate, which is totally different from uh, what I've previously talked to you guys about doing. But it's a really touchy topic for a lot of people. And I know a lot of the times when I tell people that, then you know they give me the whole spiel about why I should go back to school and how awesome having an education is. And don't get me wrong, I totally agree with that and I'm not diminishing it in any way because at the end of the day, like your education is something that nobody will ever be able to take away from you. But a school setting is just really, really tough for me to be in because of how I always envisioned it for myself and then having that ripped away from me and like just everything that happened, I just have a really hard time being a college kid. <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen, but no, I don't have any updates. Um, Everybody does it differently. Yeah, and that's Everyone one thing that's been really hard for me to accept is just the fact that like if I don't go to school or I do something different than the rest of my friends that went to the four-year universities and got their degree and now are working, you know, downtown and whatever, it's totally fine if I'm on a different path than them. Um, even though, like I said, it was just really hard for me to accept that at first, but I'm kind of cool with doing my own thing right now. I got a bunch of little gigs that I'm hustling around, so we'll see what happens. Someone asked what they should get her uh, I would not wear that rightly. Well, blah, blah. Words. Words. Someone asked what she should get her boyfriend for Christmas. So, what do you recommend getting a boy? Depends on what his tastes are and what he's into. Or and I'm curious to see needs. what he says because his Christmas presents are sitting in the uh, trunk of my car right now. Is there something like he talks about replacing or needing or like could use in everyday life or, you know, my spare boots or something, you know, with the snow coming and stuff if you guys live in, you know, some of the northern areas of the country. And I like nice sweaters. <laughs> As goofy as that sounds, like I, I like a nice quarters up. Video games, if they're into video games or PC stuff, you can get them like you know, food, new keyboard or some food Xbox is always the way to a man's heart. Is it though? You have to cook the food though. The way to a man's heart is to, through his stomach. You have to cook with love. I can't wait to watch this footage and see how many ugly faces I made we, while stuffing my face with large chips. If I haven't worn something that Erin thinks would look good on me, she would buy for me as a Christmas gift. I feel like that would be something she would do. Uh, so there's always that too. If you you want your man looking uh, good in a nice shirt or a pair of pants, that's the way to do it. Hmm. Insightful, very insightful. Someone wants to know if we played yeah. sports in high school. <laughs> Why is this funny? She didn't play sports. Yes, I did. Yeah. I played softball. You said in high school, right? I played <laughs> it softball count. growing up. <laughs> and then I was in marching band all four years of high school. Yeah, that's cool. How many sports did you play, Alex? How many did I play? Mm -hmm. Uh, Five. Make me sound so cocky. <laughs> no, you were just athletic. Uh, I played baseball, soccer. Just in high school. But, oh, just in high school? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I only played basketball in high school, and I did deck hockey. Okay, last question we're gonna answer. What is your favorite food? My favorite food? Can I guess? Okay, are we gonna do like a genre of food and then narrow it down? One specific thing. One specific thing, goodness. There's so much good food out there. I have to say- He's a foodie. He'll eat anything you put in front of him. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not. I think, I like seafood. And I don't know if this would count as like, you know, seafood, sushi. but how'd you... That's why I said, can I, I guess what you're gonna say? It was oh. gonna be sushi. <laughs> I didn't hear you. No, I, I love sushi. Like, it's just, it's so good. I hate sushi. I know. I don't Actually, eat anything seafood, Our first date, related. I took her to a seafood restaurant as like a surprise, and I didn't know she didn't like seafood, but it worked out okay, because she got something she could eat. Yeah, I think I just got like a spinach pasta or something, like. Yeah. It just didn't have any meat or anything in it. How about you? My hair is so short. I keep going to touch hair that's not there. Um, my favorite food of all time? All time. Wait. It's gotta be potatoes. What kind of potatoes? 
And how are they cooked? Uh, sliced potatoes. No, french fries. Those are sliced. Not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, Is french fries french are fries probably- are your favorite? If I had to pick one food, I would say french fries. Do you like sweet potato fries? Yeah, I don't care what kind Those of potatoes favorite. we use. I just like french fries. Target stop. Always here. Alex works at Target now and he literally worked this morning. Yeah, and I made him come though. back. Yeah, different Target, so not the same. Alex, what do you think of these shoes? Incredible. Never seen them before. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I think I might need to get them to add them to my, my shoe collection. Target haul. No, hopefully I don't buy enough stuff to actually have a haul to do. I only focus on you. <laughs> or something to warm up. Happy Sunday. I um, didn't vlog at all yesterday just because I was at work all day and when I came home I was like doing a lot of stuff on my laptop and whatnot but I just wanted to actually conclude this because I'm notorious for just stopping my vlogs like at the weirdest time so thank you guys for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video I'm definitely gonna try a lot harder to keep up with my videos and just be better at balancing working full-time and doing social media as much as possible so thank you guys for all of your patience with everything and just thank you for watching this video if you're new and you haven't already I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe and stick around so yeah I'm actually going to start another vlog right now as soon as I finish this so keep an eye out for that and I will talk to you next time bye